On May 1 at around 6 a.m., Sardoba Dam burst in Uzbekistan which flooded thousands of homes and sent water rushing into villages in neighboring Kazakhstan. The earth-filled dam is 29 meters high and designed to hold up to 922 million cubic meters of water, which allowed to efficiently use the fertile lands of Sardaria and Jizik provinces and increase the yield. The dam wall weakened and burst after rainy conditions prevailed for about a week, releasing much of the estimated 243 billion gallons of water held in the reservoir. As a result of the accident, four people died, one is missing. About 90,000 people were evacuated from flooded areas in Uzbekistan, and more than 31,000 in Kazakhstan. Uzbekistan president regrets the dam burst has also caused flooding in neighboring Kazakhstan, and expressed willingness of his government to help in the aftermath of the disaster. Uzbek authorities have already expressed its readiness to provide Kazakhstan with the necessary assistance to mitigate the consequences of the flooding. President Shavkat Mirziyoyev flew by helicopter to the scene of the disaster within hours. State television news showed a meeting with residents affected by the flood and inspecting damage at the Sardoba Reservoir. President assured the affectees that not a single person will be left uncared for. We will organize places and suitable conditions for people to live. Building will begin days after the catastrophic collapse of a dam while a criminal probe has been launched into possible violations during construction of the dam. The reservoir was completed in 2017 following seven years of construction work that took place under the supervision of current president, who was the prime minister at the time. To generate electricity, in April, a groundbreaking ceremony had been held for the construction of a 10.7 megawatts hydro plant at the dam, with funding from Rizeksim Bank of Russia, this was to have been completed by 2022. The project was to be undertaken on behalf of Uzbek Hydro Energo by Energomesh Export Corporation, under an EPC contract worth 19.2 million euros. Emergency services personnel had rescued thousands of residents to safer ground. Helicopters rescuing people trapped on their roofs by the rising water. At the time of the breach, to minimize the risk of a total collapse of the dam, regional authorities in Sardaria ordered controlled releases of water from the reservoir, but this caused overflows at the Mactural Reservoir's downstream. It was later reported that the breach had been blocked, and floodwaters were being diverted to a lake in nearby Arnase district. The satellite images before and after the collapse shows the dramatic change in the landscape. Billions of gallons of water were released, 